What's good, sneakerotics? Good morning. We got to report a lot of news today in sneakers, especially Jordans. So we're going to be doing a lot of sporadic release information for 2020. Make sure you subscribe, you turn all notifications on. Uh, we've got these University Blue Fours that we'll be releasing spring 2020. We're going to give you a detailed look, focus on this shoe right here, releasing in the spring. Um, let me know what you guys think of them. Definitely. You have got a beautiful looking uh, suede on the upper, as you can see. It's it's a really nice looking suede. Let's um, go full screen with this right here. Let's go full screen. So, hey, what's up, E? Salute to everyone watching live. And as you're walking in, please hit the thumbs up button. Let's get in the habit of doing that because it just helps this video perform well. And it motivates me, too, to, to do this. I need motivation. I, I, I need this. So the thumbs up help, helps me do that. If you love these vids, just take one second to do that. So we're going we're gonna to put in a lot of work today. Uh, we're going to go through the whole spring collection. I'm going to try my hardest. But it all depends on the views and the likes. I don't want to just bury videos. And I don't want to do just a 2021 spring video because not everyone got time for that shit. No one wants to sit through a whole video, go through every single shoe for the spring. So I'm going to break it up so people can search and look for the particular sneaker. Uh, these are fire. Uh, the suede, once again, looks really nice on them. And then you have that cement print throughout the shoe on the harness, going on the laces toward the back and on the midsole. As you can see with your air unit inside in gray, uh, you know, in 2020, it's like, do we really need to review the shoe when we have high resolution photos? We could basically see what the shoe is uh, like. And Jordan brand isn't shy. They show when there's flaws on the shoes. <laughs> if you look at stock photos that they put out there, the high reso photos, they'll show the flaws. I mean, the craftsmanship on this looks pretty good, too. I'm looking at the midsole and everything like that um take a look at them like the ones that are on the sneaker sites like sneakers app check them out like they're not shy they'll show you if, if there's bad craftsmanship i've seen in the past horrible creases and glue uh this one looks like it was made with love i will say that um let's hope they're all like that that's always the problem right but uh we have this tag um i'm gonna keep it a buck with you i'm not a fan of this right here i don't hate it but I'm just not the biggest fan of this. Uh, how do we feel about this tongue right here? Do we like the tongue or no? Do we like the little added addition to it? Some are going to love it. I know that. Some are going to say, yo, it's different. It's dope, Delzy. Once again, if you're walking in here, just do me that quick solid and just smash the thumbs up. And um, we're doing really good with that, Team DJ Dells, Dells Nation. We are really kicking ass. Our videos, most of them are, are over 100 likes now. Um, it's just because you got, I think you guys get it. it. I need the inspiration, the motivation, um, and, and the thumbs ups tell me, you know what, Dells, do another video. Because every day or every other day, I feel like, you know what, maybe I should stop doing this. So if you could just do that, it really, when I look at the last video, I'm like, oh, we got way over 100 likes. I'm going to do another video. So show that love. Um, where did this tag come from? If anyone knows, let me know. Team. 23 is this like a a, a motorsport kind of vibe? I, I really don't know I'm, I'm not gonna front like i know as i said i'm the sneaker addict not the sneaker expert <laughs> i like the tongue it adds authenticity um okay cool the back of the leftover fives okay let's see it's different the tag ain't it yeah i'm, I'm gonna be honest with you i don't hate the tag but I feel like the tag was something not necessary. You didn't need to do that. And, and that's the thing with Jordan Brand. Sometimes y'all just be doing too much when you don't need to at all. Um, and another thing is you pick and choose what you're going to put the, the air, Nike Air on the back with. Like, dude, just put Nike Air on every F in Jordan now. Like, stop this BS. And some will say, oh, well, it has to do with the OG colorways. That's not true. We, we got the Red Air Jordan 3s that came out with, with, with um, the um, Nike Air in the back. Uh, we're getting new colorways with Nike Air in the back. So why on these 4s we got to have um, a Jumpman on select pairs? And then some others, 
And I don't understand it. Like, get the jump man out of here right now. Uh, we'll pay a few extra bucks for the for the Nike Air, right? I mean, I know I don't like doing it, but I don't mind doing it. Or no, you rather pay a few extra. Let's let's get into this real quick. Um, do you prefer paying ten to twenty dollars more for the Nike Air on the back, or you don't mind paying a little less for the jump man? Uh, let me know in the comments if you're watching on the replay. And shout out to everyone watching on the replay. Please leave comments. This is content. This ain't just me kicking it live, shooting the shit. And and sometimes we do do that. There's no cap. You know, I'm just saying, like, um, I'm trying to give you guys content. I want to know how you're feeling. I'm trying to talk to you, the sneaker community. Um, how do you feel about the jump man on the back of threes and fours. Do you wish that they just give you the Nike Air? And do you mind paying a little a bit extra? Because they seem to upcharge, right? They upcharge us when they do this fluckery, right? Maybe be maybe because it's a Carolina blue, like a UNC team. Okay. He said, I'll take the Nike Air. I'll pay a little bit more. Nike Air. At the end of the day, it's still going to sell out. Now, this is coming out in the spring of 2021. Let's hope that things are more or less back to normal. And if they are back to normal, maybe things will start sitting by the spring. Do we think that things will start sitting by the spring? Now, we got to keep in mind, I, I really think the reason why sneakers are selling out so much has to do with probably two to three things. The last dance, people getting a lot of extra money through unemployment and through the whole um, stimulus. And we have yet to see another stimulus check come through. Uh, Trump never hit us with that second one. He was on that BS saying after the election, we'll do that, we'll talk about that, which was trash. Like, And I think that's part of the reason why he did lose. He, he should have said, he should have just gave a fat stimulus right before election. And I think he may have actually won. But a lot of people were pissed off. Like, yo, F that. I've got friends that are screwed up right now. And uh, where like their money ain't right. They need that stimulus money. They're having trouble paying for rent. They they work in the the club business, you know, um, and um, they're not working like that. So uh, and I think um, it all depends on if we get another stimulus and and how um, this Rona is is going down too. If people are getting extra cash, then you already know they're coming for that ass. As far as these sneakers, no matter if it got. The Jumpman or the Nike Air on that booty. They going for it. Um, that's for damn sure. So we shall see what the state of sneakers will be in the spring of 2021. Um, definitely share your thoughts on what you think. What's your prediction as far as what the world will be like in 2021 in the spring as far as the sneakers, you know. He says, um, I don't mind uh, the Nike Air on the back. Okay. Says, I'll pay for the Nike Air on the heel, but the random things they do sometimes. Yeah, um, and, and I agree with you, bro. Like, like, this was not necessary. Like, why you got to do this, bro? This ain't necessary. Come on, man. You got this clean-looking shoe, that baby blue, Carolina blue kicks, freshest on the block. You don't need... To put this on the effing shoe. It was not necessary. This, I don't mind the jump man on the back. I'm not one of those Nike Air whores that feel like it has to have Nike Air on the back. I'm good with the jump man. Just give me a nice shoe. But this, not necessary. You're doing too much. Jordan Brand, you're doing too much. Smash the thumbs up button if you agree with me. Leave in the comments, leave in the chat. Jordan Brand, you're doing too much. I think they're doing too much. We'll keep it funky with you. Gerald says, how you, how you been, Dallas? I don't know if you remember me from all of those other chats, but salute to you. Salute to you, Gerald. Appreciate you coming through, man. You know, I always say with the chat, you got to come on a regular basis. Pause. You got to be here all the time. And, and I always remember, like Malcolm, Mal Malcolm's always here. I remember Malcolm all the, like, he's always here. Jay, um, you know, Ali Frazier, Don Camillo, um, you know, um, 
everyone that's out here all the time. There, there's so many heads. Like if you're here daily, you're a lifer, um, then then you all day. Even Ant 92, he's here a lot, you know. Um, Josh has been here a lot lately too. So to everyone that's coming in here once in a while too, though. I understand people are busy. I see E here a lot lately. Uh, I know I know who's here a lot, you know what I'm saying? Like like I do. Shout out to all the people that are watching that isn't saying what's up, you know, the ghost watchers, probably some content creators that they can't, you know, say hi. Um, God forbid. <laughs> it's all good though. I ain't mad at it. Um, that tongue, that tongue tag is aggressive. Yeah, it is. It is. It's a, it's, it's too much. It's like, you don't gotta do too much, man. It's just, it's overboard. This is so clean. And I'm looking at it from, from the lateral side and I'm like, yo, these are fire. And I'm imagining just the regular tag. And then when we get here, I'm like, whoa, easy, easy, easy. Like, like this is overboard, overboard. And, and the back looks good. I like the combination of, oh shit. I like this combination of the cement print and the baby blue, Carolina blue, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, way overboard, not necessary. Um, look at these two. We're going to do videos digging into all these shoes, but there's the stouts. We'll dig into this, check out the leather. Um, we got these joints too which um, we'll dig into. I mean, there's so many shoes that were um, shown today that we're going to dig into. That's why I'm going to periodically pop up and um, do a bunch of vids here. Um, don't forget, guys, we do have Super Chat and Cash App. Show that love and support. Um, it, it definitely means a lot. And as I was saying, always remember, let's try to get in the habit. Always hit the thumbs up because it helps the show. The, the more thumbs ups, the more I want to do these shows. Um, the less thumbs up, the more I want to retire from this. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. The tongue kills me on them. Yeah, the tongue is not it. Uh, I just don't get it, man. I don't get why they do that. I always say that um, if you guys ever seen the movie Big with Tom Hanks and, and he's like doing the toy testing and he's looking at toys, and he's like, I just don't get it. I just don't get it. Like, that's how I feel when I look at this. Like, I just don't get it. I don't understand why do that to the shoe um, when you didn't need to do it? And and I think it's a lack of Jordan brand having people that got a good eye. I don't think that I am like some like brilliant person to say that this tag is too much. I feel like everyone in this chat for the most part sees what I'm seeing and probably has seen it as soon as they looked at this saying, why did you do that to the fluking tongue? Why did you do it with the fluking, fluking tongue? I mean, why? <sighs> it's all good. It's all good, baby, baby. And we did a video yesterday covering um, the Air Jordan One University, which we'll take a we'll take a peek at right now. Let's let's get into that. Where where are those? Uh, and here's all the shoes, by the way, releasing in the spring. A, a lot of heat in the spring. A lot of heat. I don't understand why they're giving us some of these dark colors in the spring. Um, I feel like light, light colored sneakers should be, you know, during the nice times, like when it's not cold and all that. Give us dark colors during the right, right seasons. I, I never understood that. Um, if I had a sneaker brand, I wouldn't really release dark shoes in the summer, spring and summer. Who wants to wear that? Here's the UNC one. And um, these are fire. These are really fire. We did a video yesterday, showed them on foot with the lace swaps, with white laces, really cool video. So check out yesterday's video. Uh, you know, we working hard here. We really are. We put in a lot of work here. And uh, the leather on these look phenomenal. Heavy tumble on them. Is it that shattered backboard? <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> we want that shattered backboard. <laughs> uh, kind of looks like the tag in the front of the jersey. Just, yeah, it got a vibe like that. Definitely, right? how the how on the jersey is on the bottom. It got the little like side 
vibe going. I see what you're saying, Austin. You're right. Yeah, the, the um, UNC ones, this is going to be a, a problem. This will be a problem. He says, uh, let's be honest. How many times people hate on the visuals, but once they have the shoe in hand, they change their energy. That is true, Jamal. Um, but I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to keep it a buck with you. Uh, that tag, I ain't feeling it. Uh, the, the thing with me is it's never really the tags or the extra branding. It's the materials and the colorway. For example, the biohacks, when I first seen images, it's a cool shoe. The colorway is kind of wild. When I seen them in person, the materials and, and the vibe in front of my face, in the face, in the face. Uh, if you know what movie I'm talking about, salute to you. Uh, that um, just sold me. One of my favorite shoes of the year, the biohacks by far. Um, but but a, a tag like that, when you start mani manipulating oh, like classic shit, like I want my flight tag to just be there. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to have it cut in half. And, or, you know, chill, chill. That's all I'm saying. Y'all need to effing chill, all right? Chillax, bruh, bruh, bruh. Oh, Y'all drive me crazy when you talk to me and you say, bruh. Bro, I got friends every time, every five minutes, every five, every other sentence. Bro, bro, bro. I can't wait till that's gone. I can't wait till that's gone. Bro, 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 bro. Yo, bro, bro, bro. It's like y'all got Tourette syndrome. You know, like every five seconds. Bro, you know what I mean? Yo, I like the leather on these. Bro, I know it's not like Bro, it's like it's real talk. Like Tourette's, man. Boy, ugh. I can't wait till that's done. I can't wait till bro is gone. No caps for all y'all bras out there. Bruh, bruh. Damn, got Tourette's. Best show on YouTube. Thank you so much. I appreciate you, man. I need to hear these things, man. I hate the biohacks tongue, too. But simple. Okay. Cool. See, the biohack tongue, though, I know what you're talking about. You're talking about the foam, the exposed foam, right? Never was the biggest fan of it. That grew on me. Pause. But um, besides that, what I mean is like the particular branding that we are used to. That's really what I'm talking about. You know what I mean? Like I'm talking about, gosh, I can't even get to where I want to get. Like, for example, if they put like something else instead of the Wings logo there, like they put like a line or something or or put like half a logo. Imagine they put like half a Jumpman logo and then half a Wings logo. Like that type of stuff just pisses me off. That aggravates me. You dig? Yo, one day I'm going to just talk to someone. Next time I talk, next time, matter of fact, next time I, I talk to someone and they start saying bro all the time, I'm just going to be like, bruh, bruh, bruh. I'm, I'm just going to start talking and being like, bruh. Like the Tourette's, bro. I say bro. B-R-O. Bro. That's what I say. Not B-R-U-H. I've said it. I say it once in a while, bro. But not like, yo, some of you guys be spazzing the flip out on that. Bro. 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 I'm going to switch it up now. You got to say bro. Bro. You got to say it fast. Bro. You gotta like, you gotta like shoot it out. You know, we're gonna switch it up, man. Cause the long bro, bro, it, yo, dude, dude. It's like the same shit, bro. Dude, dude. I, I can't. It drives me mad. It drives me absolutely fucking crazy. <sighs> All right. Let's see what we got here. Let's see what we got here, bro. I like these. I like them. Um, do I need these? Nah, I don't need these. I don't need these. But they're cool. They're cool. Look at my dog running. This little girl. Look at her run. It's gonna be running. This is the fastest dog in the world. Fastest puppy in the world. We're running 120 miles an hour right here. Yo, the fastest puppy in the world. Fastest boss terrier ever. Look at me running with my damn Nike SB Chicago's. Wear your sneakers. Look, I'm running full blast in them things, man. Shout out to my boy Charles. I see him in the chat. 
Thank you again. Look, they getting, they getting put to good use. Look at that, man. Running in them. Full blast. 120 mile an hour. You be running fast, bro. For real, bro. Oh, Tupac, what up, man? Good morning. No limit, what up? Nice kicks. Thank you, bro. Same people that use the word bra, the same people that don't like Benny the Butcher. Yeah, and um, my prayer is to my boy, Benny the Butcher. Well, he's alive, but, you know, so I don't know if prayers is the right thing, but get well soon, homie. Um, Benny the Butcher got caught out there at Wally World and um, got hit in the leg. They tried taking his jewels. They didn't get the jewels. Uh, but he almost lost his jewels. Low behind, below the waist shot could have hit him in the family jewels, um, which would have sucked. I mean, imagine a man getting shot in the, you know. Uh, but he got hit in the leg, and he'll be okay. I seen him. He jumped on his private jet on his crutches. He's chilling. Uh, but yeah, they tried to take him out for his chains. I mean, he's walking around with more chains than Slick Rick nowadays. All these Griselda boys, which we need to protect. Griselda, we do. We do. Same people that don't like Benny. Some people don't even know who the hell Benny the Butcher is. I, I went to um, Ron Reviews chat yesterday, and because uh, I like to hear what he got to say. Sometimes we talk about politics, and I'm like, I like hearing people's takes on politics. And he was talking about, um, he was talking about, I forgot his name. Um, I don't know who he is, but I, um, some someone from the south who got who got taken out. Rest in peace. And um, no disrespect, I just don't know the guy. That guy is an artist. Um, uh, but um, I said, yeah, man, Benny the Butcher. He was like, yeah, man, that was everyone's um, talking about this Benny the Butcher. I don't be listening to Benny the Butcher. <laughs> I was like, yo, he's popping. And he was like, nah, man, I don't listen to Benny. But so I think, you know, some people in the South, they don't listen to him. He's like, man, I don't like this. He said something, um, a paraphrase. He's like, I don't listen to music where I got to think and all that, you know. And some people don't want to hear the bars and all that. Um, but me, I like I like music that opens. Yes, that's that's who it is. Thank you. See, I never listened to him. I listen to Boozy. I love Boozy, but I, I never really listened to him. Um, I think he, I think this dude was actually in on that um Mike Tyson's hot boxing um, podcast. I think he was on there where Mike Tyson was kind of like going in, um, talking that talk with them, which is a great podcast. If you never watch Mike Tyson's show on YouTube, you can listen to the podcast on all the platforms. It's such a it's such a good show. So check it out, man. But yeah, Benny the Butcher, man. You know, I think are do you guys listen to Benny the Butcher or no? And if you do, let me know where you're from, so I know. Like, where where are you from? Are you in the, on the on the East Coast, West Coast, down South, let me know. But I love the whole Griselda movement. They need to be protected at all costs. He says Southern people call it dictionary rap. Yeah, King Vaughn too. R.I.P. to King Vaughn. He he was coming up. King Vaughn was coming up. See, I, I knew who King Vaughn was. Um, he was coming up. Not saying this dude wasn't. I just, I, my ear wasn't listening to him like that. Pushing that agenda. Explain what you're talking about. <laughs> so, yeah, man, I think we're done here. Unless you guys got a, got some for me you want me to talk about, let's go. But um, we're doing quick streams. I'm going to come back. We're going to dig into another shoe and uh, just go through all of these spring releases uh, I like these, though. I will say that. We, we'll dig into these soon. We'll dig into these next. Um, but if you're hanging out still, why not? Why not look at these real quick? These are clean. These are clean. I will say that. Oh, I, wish it, I wish it had the blue on the back of the tongue. I'm going to keep it a buck with you. I, I, you should have made the back of the tongue blue, too, not black. Uh, that's that's just my opinion. Some are gonna agree. Some are gonna disagree with that. You know. And look, man, Dallas. There's a lot of lot of um, things going on out there, man. From the slums, we listen to Griselda. For real, I love Griselda, man. As I said, they need to be protected at all costs, man. For boom, real. Boom, boom. What's good? 
Yeah, we we love Griselda out, out on this channel, man. We are big supporters of Griselda. So, um, you know, we wish um a speedy recovery. Yes, rest in peace to Pop Smoke also. And I spoke more about that, um, that situation on the Dell show on YouTube. So watch that. We talked about it yesterday. We're gonna be reporting news from time to time at the Dell show on YouTube. Uh, so definitely come through over there, check it out, subscribe. The Dell Show, we go live there too. So, you know, everyone should subscribe to the Dell Show. And if you're just walking in here, please, once again, just hit the thumbs up button. Um, you know, I wasn't going to go live. Like every day, I think maybe I won't go live today. Maybe maybe I'm going to just chill, hang it up for a week. So if you want the lives, we just please just take one second. Um, I need the motivation. I, I'm going to be honest with you. I, I, that motivates me when I see the likes. Um uh, doing this every day. I love doing it, but I sometimes, I don't know, maybe it's an insecurity thing. I don't think it's insecurity. I just feel like maybe people are good, you know, or, or like, so when you hit the thumbs up, it makes me feel like, oh, okay, we need something tomorrow. We need content tomorrow. So it takes one second to do. And, and, and I need, I do need it. I'm going to be, I'm going to keep it funky with you. Breakfast. With, oh, shoot. I haven't seen you in a minute. Mind over matter. Good seeing you, bro. He says breakfast with Dells is have I ever worked with no, most Def? No, I've never met most Def. Um, I've um, met Talib, Talib Kuali a few times. He was always really nice to me. Uh, but I love most Def, man. I, I love, you know, that Black Star album, classic. Um, really, really classic. Thank you, Rex. I try my best to. I try my best to. Uh, let's see. I kind of want to stay and hang out, but we're going to get up out of here, guys. Um, I'm going to come back. We're going to come back. I just want to kind of go through everything but make separate videos so people don't, people don't got time to go through our, an hour show of, of all the 2021 releases for the spring. We'll, we'll be back soon, so turn the notifications on. And also, you know, a lot of times you won't even get the notification, and I always press to you all to follow my Twitter at DJ Dell. So follow the Twitter. Take a second. Follow the Twitter. It's, it should be linked in the description. Follow my Instagram at Real DJ Dells. Um, why wouldn't you? But my Twitter is crucial because I post a lot of great deals and steals. And, uh, you know, I'm here to looking out for you. I'm trying to help you all out. And um, if you want to show me love, we have tons of T-shirts. They're linked in the description box below. Pick up a T-shirt. They're only like $20. Some, some are a little bit over $20, but not much. I'm not breaking you over the head. You know, we got masks also. Um, Support what I do. You get something in return. It's not like, you know, you just send in the dono, even though we love the donations. But, um, you know, if, if you want to just get some product, it's, it's highly appreciated. For real. Highly appreciated. And, yeah, so, um, all of these shoes should have Nike Air J. I mean, it's, it's to the point now where it's like, why not? You know, you pick and choose what you put the Nike Air on. Come on. This is BS now. This is nonsense. Uh, absolute nonsense. So. All right, guys, I'll see you very soon. I'm, I may go live in about a, uh, 30 minutes to an hour. We're going to dig into another shoe. We're going to do this throughout the day. So turn the notifications on and I'll catch you soon. And tomorrow we'll have a review on the what the fives. I paid for the two day shipping, but Nike didn't send it. These Jamokes, they tell you a two day shipping and then they, they send it four or five days later. Unfreaking believable. But what are we going to do, man? Um,